It could be argued that along with death and taxes, the U.S. Census represents another reliable certainty. That's a 2020 census taker calling to ask a few simple questions. But the Supreme Court officially hit pause Tuesday on the official count of U.S. residents that takes place like clockwork and by law every 10 years. It basically means that in New York City, communities that have not filled out the census are at risk of an undercount, and that is mainly black and brown communities. New York City Census Director Julie Menon worries the court's ruling really amounts to a full stop rather than a pause of the count, a full two weeks before the scheduled October 31st deadline. The stakes are high. The count determines representation for each state in the House of Representatives and also helps direct the disbursement of more than a trillion dollars a year in federal aid. And that's really the challenge because once it ends to then, even if we win the case on appeal, to ramp it back up would take some time. And so this is why we are so deeply disappointed in the Supreme Court. The ruling also represents a clear victory for President Trump. His administration previously attempted to prevent undocumented immigrants from being counted in the census and tried to move up the count's deadline to the end of September, arguing White House officials needed more time to tabulate the results because of delays caused by the coronavirus pandemic. If democracy were a religion, the census is the Bible, right? The census is the answer to the question of who gets what in our society. The Supreme Court's ruling was unsigned with a lone dissenting opinion from Justice Sonia Sotomayor of the Bronx, where Richie Torres is a council member. And it has severe effects on New York City at a time when we least can afford it. It means fewer resources for public housing and public transit, for public hospitals and public schools. It means fewer resources for our libraries and our parks. So we mentioned, yes, it might be too late to answer the door for census taker, but Julie Menon is recommending that if you have not been counted already, go online and complete the census. The exact wording is immediate, but it's not clear when the U.S. Census Department could actually turn off the lights. So if you haven't done so, go, on, go online and get it done. We're live in the Bronx tonight. Jay Dow, PIX11 News.